Right guys, so I've got a bit of an unboxing today. I thought I'd do it on camera to share the experience with you guys. Because I know you'd probably appreciate it since we are all nerds together. Okay, I know you'd appreciate this. And if you read the title of this video, which I'm guessing you probably did, you'll know that it's about Nerdblock. Now, if you don't already know, that is a website that offers this service where basically you pay a monthly subscription fee and they will send you out a box of nerd goodies every month. Now, I'm already a little bit dubious. This is my girlfriend's idea and I'm concerned that she's just going to fill our house up with useless shit. Um, he says as he's in the process of moving hundreds and hundreds of old video games into the house. They're not useless. Let's move it on. Listen, nerd block could be fun. Let's see what it's all about. Anyway, here's the website. So nerd block, epic geek gear. Every month, only $20. So for $20, this service from Canada uh, will send you loads of nerd shit. And here's how it works. You subscribe, you pick your t-shirt size for it will send you t-shirts along with other things. And we pack the goods, you get the gear. Oop, and the camera falls off the cushion, which it is precariously positioned upon. Right, anyway, website, link in the low bar if you want to go and check it out. Again, kind of concerned this is just going to fill our house up with useless shit, but it is nerd shit, and therefore, might be worth our time. Let's have a look. So it comes in a box like this, which I've already un, un uh, broke the seal of, but I haven't actually looked at the stuff in here yet. I thought I'd wait to do that on camera, because uh, it didn't occur to me until after I've broken the seal to do that. Right, so in here, we have a lot of stuff. And first is the t-shirt, which I don't know what size my girlfriend, uh, you know, put down on the website. I don't know who she's expecting to wear these. If it's small, it'll be for her. If it's medium, it'll be for me, or her, when she's lazing around. And what have we got? We've got medium. Right, it's a medium-sized t-shirt, and this is the t-shirt that you get this month. It says, join me. See now, that would have worked just as well if it had gone with the original Obey. The Obey graffiti meme that was propagated by Shepard Fairey, the notorious street artist. Obey, of course, used the uh, a kind of picture of Andre the Giant, and repetition was its uh, was in it, was the powers in the repetition. Anyway, so you've got Darth Vader there, join me. It's a pretty cool t-shirt actually. I'm actually quite surprised that that's pretty cool. And I might actually wear that, which is strange. I wasn't expecting to actually like the t-shirt enough to wear it, but I think that will get some wear out of it. Right, there's some more things in here. In the nerd block box, let's have a look. Right, we have a Simpsons figurine. It says, woohoo, 25 of the greatest guest stars. Right, so you get a collectible mini figurine um, of the 25 greatest guest stars from The Simpsons. So not regular stars. And these are some of the guest stars pictured on the back there. Let's have a look, shall we? Girlfriend's going to be pissed off I did this without her present. And we have, who the fuck is that supposed to be? It is not going to focus at all, is it? Paid 200 quid for a fucking camera, it doesn't even fucking focus. No, I don't know who that's supposed to be. Oh, Tom Hanks, apparently that's Tom Hanks. From the Simpsons movie. So we have a Simpsons Tom Hanks, just what I've always wanted. Useless shit. Right, next we have Tops Wacky Packages stickers. Now, parody stickers, eight parody stickers. Parody stickers of what? I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look, shall we? Right. Again, this would work better if the camera focused. 
not really sure why these are desirable. Kiss cat, catnip wafers. Kiss cat, as opposed to Kit Kat. Do you get it? Do you get it now? Do you get it? You will get it. And there's something on the back there that, again, there's no even point showing you close up so you can read it because you won't be able to because the camera is rubbish. Food flavoury. Th I don't know what these, these are just parodies on popular food products. Um, I, I guess they're supposed to be comical. I don't really know what I'm supposed to get out of this. It's sort of like um, it's sort of like a PG. It, it looks like they've st stolen the idea from um, Garbage Pail Kids, but it's like a PG rated attempt. At that kind of parody esque thing. Simeon Token. See, some of these are American brands that, or Canadian brands maybe even because it comes from Canada, that we don't know about. And yet this got sent halfway across the world just to disappoint me. So we have a shiny. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. Shiny cards, shiny stickers always the bestest. Uh, again, more Canadian or American products parodied in some way that I haven't been made aware of yet because I haven't read the text on them. Uh, what else we got? Right, we have Star Trek Skelly Treks. So basically, Star Trek characters as skeletons. Or monsters, zombies, Star Trek characters as kind of the undead. So let's have a look what we've got in here. Oh. Right. We have this little guy. Which I'm very upset about. It's not focusing. This little guy. Looks like a kind of undead data. What is his name? I don't think he has one. That's kind of like an undead data. Which is ironic, because he's not even alive in the first place! Hmm, did I just say something controversial? Do the Star Trek fans consider data to be alive? Maybe he is, in a fashion. Maybe he is. So that's a Star Trek character. In a slightly undead fashion. Right, now we have, what is this? An egg type thing from the Zelda universe. You might not even be able to make that out on there. But there is the Zelda motif and some characters. And I guess we're just going to have to open it up to find out exactly what is in here. There are some holes in the top there indicating the possibility that we have a live creature in this egg. Although I highly doubt it. I wonder what the ventilation holes are there for. Speaking of ventilation, yes, the games room is still underway. Um, we've been a bit lazy doing other things that are a bit more fun than decorating and stuff. Um, but it will be happening pretty soon. So I'll cap it down soon and then uh, shelves in, yada yada. I can't get into this bloody thing. So, where is the... So yeah, so guys, I need a CRT for the games room. Now, am I right in thinking that the Sony Trinitron is the best CRT to get for gaming? Uh, it seems to be the one that is recommended quite often. Um, but I'm looking for one. Um, yeah, finally going to have CRT so we can finally do light gun games and all the rest of it. Uh, and I'm looking for the best one, so any ideas on a decent CRT? Or, well, the best CRT, basically. I think it's between the Sony Trinitron and a Bang & Olufsen uh, BioVision Bio is it? But I've heard that can be a bit fiddly. It might have more options and such. Right, this is just, this is taking the piss now. See how I expertly tried to fill up some dead time there with some chat about something else. Which I did need to, you know, I, 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 was, I genuinely do need to, need the information. But uh, not as readily as I need to get into this. Right. 
in the egg. The Zelda egg. There is no editing on this channel, for I cannot be asked. So you're just going to have to wait until I get into it. Right. Oh, it looks like it might be a make your own character type of thing. And it is Link himself. As I might be able to show you there. We have a little Link figure. A little blurry Link figure. With no legs. For I must put the legs on myself. There is the legs. And the stand. And another sword. This is strange to me. Because, oh no, wait a minute. This only has the holster and not the sword. I don't know if I'm doing this with my accent. It's all over the place. Alright, there is the little Zelda in the egg. Definitely not alive. Confusing me with the ventilation holes. Right, and the pièce de résistance. Is this Assassin's Creed figure? A game that I've never played much. Played like the first 10 minutes of the first game, I think. Looks alright, I'll probably get into it eventually. But at the minute, I have no emotional attachment to this character whatsoever. So there's that. It's quite a well made figure. Which you won't be able to pick out because of the blurriness. Oh, my face is in focus! Finally! That's no good. Anyway, so that is an Assassin's Creed figure with opposable joints, it seems. And some quite nice looking bits and pieces to go with it. Exclusive unlockable in-game content comes with this figure. So that's a new thing. Unlockable DLC from buying related game paraphernalia. Has that been happening for a while? It's the first time I've seen it. It's a worrying trend, isn't it? Anyway, there's a whole range of these uh, Assassin's Creed figures. There. Try and decipher who those are through blur or vision, if you will. Will it focus? Will it? Will it focus? Will it? Hackers like. So that is, so that is no. Whoa. Camera falling off the sick caution. Which I have it precariously positioned upon. So that's nerd block. Twenty dollars of useless shit to fill up your house with uh, a month, every month. Yeah. So what do we get? We had a Tom Hanks Simpsons figure. Can't help being a little bit disappointed at that when you think of the other guest stars have been on that are a little bit more visually individual and uh, striking than Tom Hanks. Nice as he is, sure he's the top guy. Bit boring to look at though, compared to your Kid Rocks, your James Browns, and such. So yeah, James Brown, that would be pretty sweet. There you go, Tom Hanks. And yeah, what else we have? We had a little kind of uh, undead data. Fuck off, camera. And uh, a little Zelda, which I need to put together. Which actually might actually go on the shelves in the game room, that actually might get displayed. And, uh, and that, and some stickers. So that's Nerdblock, $20, which works out to about 16 pence or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's my unboxing for today. And I'll see you.